Welcome to Coder Vlogs. This is quiz app series, and this is video number five. So, in the previous video, we have designed the timer for the start quiz activity, and we have do some designing of the start quiz activity, right? So, in this video, I will work on the submit answer button. So, when user click on submit answer button, so it will take data that which option is selected by user so it will get that option and save in a variable and if no option if no radio button is selected then in that case it will show error message that please select one option first so in order to do that i will first go to the function called option selected and add here i will comment this line the toast display statement i will comment this line then i will define one variable string which name will be current option right and its value will be empty string so let me copy this variable name and add here on the option selected function i will give value btn dot get text so basically when user select any function then i will save that data in this variable current option so that text will be save in the current option variable right so that's it and if this variable is empty so it will show the user did not select any option please select one option so let me define one more variable of button submit answer and in this function initialize i will initialize this submit button variable find view by id r dot id dot submit answer so i forgot i forget the id of submit answer button so let's go back to layout folder and then activity start quiz and then go to this button and i did not set the id for this button so set id as submit answer and then click on refractory to rename it okay so let's write uh, submit answer so in this way i initialize this button variable and with this line this button is connected to backend from front end and i have to also define the on click event for that i will write submit answer variable dot then I will call for set on click listener new then I will write V so I have first option view dot on click listener so I will just enter to select this option and it will automatically generate a code for me so add here if current option is empty then display message else submit answer right so i will go down and copy this line of code and paste over here uncomment this line and it will display please select one option 
right so in the else block i will not do anything now because i will implement i will write code at here in future so now let's rerun the program click on start quiz button and click on submit so there is a message please select one option so if i select uh, one option then the message will be shown right so let's go back and let's click on start quiz button again and then let's select one option no first click on submit button so yes it is working fine and when i click on the option then it will not show me any error message so that is it then let's fix this issue this line and this line is uh, not properly aligned so just align it just give some padding to this second text view go to layout and activity start quiz dot xml and uh, so it has 16 dp space and it has 8 dp so make it 16 dp so now it is properly aligned right okay the next thing i will create one more package this package is called quiz controller and inside this package i will create one class quiz controller so what is the responsibility and uh, purpose of this class quiz controller so it will control the start quiz function like uh, it will define that how many questions will be in the start quiz it will define so it will do all things to control the start quiz function right but we will do that thing in coming video so that's it see you in the next video bye